Hey guys, so today's pose I have a love-hate relationship with. Why you ask? Because it's a backbend and I am um, not very um, Hey guys, so today's pose we're going to work with, I have a love-hate relationship with because it is a backbend and backbends are a bit more challenging for me than other poses. Um, but on the flip side, I also love the feeling that I get after the fact. So being a lifelong athlete, my front body is a little bit tighter, so my backbends aren't those deep, um, deep back bends that you see in some of the Instagram poses. Um, but like I said, the feeling I have afterwards, getting myself to do those, um, to do the most more challenging back bends like this pose that we'll be working with, um, just gives me a boost of confidence. It's great chest opener. It makes me, it helps me stand up taller and it helps me take deeper breaths. So this pose, even though it's challenging, is so beneficial for many, many reasons. And what pose is that? It's bow pose or Dhanurasana. So it's um, it's a belly down back bend. So I will, I'm gonna hop on my mat. I'm gonna demo the pose for you. Then we'll talk over some alignments. I'll show you some modifications. And then the ball's in your court to practice it and let me know how it goes. All right, so to show you bow pose, I'm gonna come here, get into belly down back bend. So when you're belly down, it is more difficult to breathe. So I like to think of me breathing out into my armpits more than down into my belly when I'm face down. So I'm gonna grab the front of my ankles, root my pubic bone, and I'm gonna press my ankles into my hands to lift my chest. And this is bow pose. All right, I'm going to lower down. We'll talk about a few things. So then like you saw, my back bend wasn't this huge major arc of my body like you may see in other pictures, which is fine. You know, not everybody, you're not going to be proficient and excel at every single aspect of yoga. So I know when my back bends come in, it's more about paying attention to my body and really engaging fully and properly. And so I'm gonna talk you through some alignments here to help you do that as well. Um, so there's three main alignments. The first one is we gotta get our pubic bone anchored to the mat because one of the main things in all back bends is keeping length in the low back and not fully collapsing into it because that's gonna strain your SI joint, give you low back pain, so we don't wanna do that. So with that, when we're at belly down, to anchor your pubic bone, you're gonna take your glute muscles, the top of your butt, you're gonna roll it down the back of your legs, roll it down your heels, down towards your heels. Then your pubic bone should be anchored into the mat. Then you're gonna bend your knees, grab the front of your ankles, the next main alignment cue here is once you lift up, once you press your ankles into your hands, it's um, also a spinal strengthener as well. So you just don't passively let your legs do all the work. You also want to activate your spinal muscles. So to do that, what I like to, how I like to cue it is to take your shoulder blades and kind of press them forward into your chest to activate your spine muscles as well. And so as I continue to press my feet in, I'm pressing my shoulder blades forward, and now I can work to lift my thighs. The third main alignment cue is not to let your knees splay wider than your hips. You wanna keep your thighs parallel to each other because that'll help, um, that'll help you utilize the glute muscles so that will keep your low back safe and long and then lower down that was a long time for me to be in that pose <laughs> all right so let's quickly review the three main alignment cues so first one pubic bone anchoring down into the mat so you take your glute muscles and lengthen them down towards your heels right the second one recruit your spinal muscles 
by pushing your shoulder blades, the two triangles on your back, forward into your chest. That's going to increase the lift of your chest. Secondly, your legs. Pretend my forearms are my legs, elbows are my knees, hands are my feet. You don't want your feet and thighs to go wide. You want to keep everything parallel, okay? So those are the three main alignment cues. If you're still working up towards this pose, I have some great modifications for you. The first one, very similar, but it just, you don't have to work on grabbing your ankles. So I have my feet, but, or my knees bent, and I'm kind of reaching back and I just can't get my feet. So I want to lace my hands together. Pull the shoulders up away from the floor, lengthen through my elbows. And then everything else is the same. Anchor my pubic bone, take my shoulder blades in towards my chest, keep my thighs parallel as I try to lift them up off the ground. All right, modification one. Modification two, you can use the strap as go-go gadget arms, but I don't, I don't like to use this very often because once you activate into the pose, the strap's gonna tighten around your feet, which may tend to get your knees to splay a little bit. So you really have to be aware of what your body's doing if you decide to use a strap. But I'll demo this anyways, because it's a common prop to use. So again, you'll have to finagle the strap around your feet, you know, and then walk your hands as close as you can to your feet as possible. And then again, same thing. I'm going to anchor my pubic bone. This time my ankles are pressing into the strap. I'm activating my shoulder blades forward. And then I'm lifting my knees up. Again, this is where my knees want to, it's easier for your knees to splay wider here. So you really got to anchor into that inner thigh hug if you're doing this option. And then lower down, release the strap. And then modification three is um, I have my blocks here. You can do, a, if you have a thicker blanket, you can roll up a blanket or even have a bolster. But I'm going to take my two blocks side by side. And then just to give it a little extra cushion, I'm draping a blanket overwards. And this is going to be right at your hip points. You don't want them too far on your thighs because then you're going to like chest dive into the floor. So this is going to help create that lift through your torso. So from here, so if you find your two hip points, you want your hip points kind of right at the bottom of your blocks. So your blocks are kind of between your hip points and your navel point. Okay. So then I'm going to bend my knees. I'm going to grab from my feet. And then you can see how that helps me get a little bit more lift of the chest. But I'm still using those same activations. So my pubic bone is anchoring down. My shoulder blades are forward and I'm hugging my thighs towards each other, keeping them parallel. And then lower back down. All right, guys. So that's Don Uraxana, bow pose. Pubic bone down, shoulder blades forward, thighs parallel. Modifications, you can use the strap, you can use the bolster or blocks, um, or you can just lace your hands behind the back as well. So go ahead, practice it, let me know how it goes. Tag me on social media, all my tags are in the description below. Um, if you want some more in-depth um, teaching, I can do private sessions via Zoom. If you are not in the Juneau, Wisconsin area, I also have an online studio where if you'd like to test out some of my full classes, go ahead and do that as well. I also have virtual um, weekly classes too, and again, all this information is going to be down in the description and links to all that good stuff. All right, guys, go play with this pose. Let me know how it goes. I'll see you next time. Namaste.